Kate made touching tribute to the Queen during night out with Prince William. Kate made a touching tribute to the Queen as the Duchess of Cambridge stepped out with Prince William last night. The Cambridges attended a charity theatre performance in London's West End. And in a nod the Queen, Kate wore a dazzling pair of earrings from her jewellery collection. The diamond earrings appear to be a favourite of Kate's as she has been seen in them in public a number of times. She wore them to a state banquet held for Chinese President Xi Jinping in 2015, at the Royal Variety Performance in 2017 and at the Tusk Conservation Awards in 2018. For her evening out with William yesterday, the Duchess stunned in a black dress, silver sparkly heels and a matching clutch. The 38-year-old styled her long brunette hair in bouncy curls. Meanwhile, William looked dashing in a navy suit and tie. The royal couple watched a performance of Dear Evan Hansen at the Noel Coward Theatre. The show was in aid of their royal foundation, which is working to encourage people to open up about their mental health. William told the cast and crew that the musical was amazing when he and Kate went backstage after the performance. The title character struggles to fit in and make friends at school and the show tackles dark topics such as teenage suicide and relationships. William said, to do a production about mental health, it was like how is this going to work? It could go either way. It could be too serious or it is too thin. You nailed it. You had the humor and the normalization of it. You had the sincerity and the authenticity. There were so many emotions and feelings and you had the spectrum of it. You had the whole roller coaster of how you feel. William and Kate asked the British actors how they managed to keep up their American twang throughout the performance, and also about how the musical had increased their personal interest in mental health issues. In a personal message printed on the back of the show's program, William said that mental health is an issue that he and Kate care passionately about. He added that they were pleased that Dear Evan Hansen is helping to start important conversations between parents and teenagers about this important subject. He also spoke of his pride that Shout, a mental health support service launched by the Royal Foundation, is one of four not-for-profit partners of the show. And the Cambridges are out again today as they stick to a busy diary of royal engagements. Gates showed off her sporty side as she visited the London Stadium at the Olympic Park. Meanwhile, William headed to Nottinghamshire where he toured a construction training centre and met apprentices. Kate Middleton's sweet nod to the Queen during her date night at the theatre almost went unnoticed. Kate Middleton wore a special accessory to a performance of Dear Evan Hansen this week. Kate Middleton topped off her elegant look during her recent trip to the theatre with a special item of jewellery. The Duchess of Cambridge dazzled during her outing with husband Prince William on Tuesday in a pair of Queen Elizabeth Stein and chandelier earrings. Kate, 38, wore a black midi-length dress by Eponine paired with sparkling heels, and matching clutch, both by Jimmy Choo, for the special occasion, while William, 37, dressed up in a blue suit and tie. This isn't first time Kate has borrowed the Queen's jewellery. This particular pair of earrings is one of the royal's favorites, and she's worn them on multiple occasions. The first time the royal mom of three wore the earrings was at a British Academy Film Awards dinner held in Los Angeles in 2011. Kate has worn them to a number of events since, including the 2017 Variety Performance and the 2018 Tusk Conservation Awards. The royal couple attended a special performance of the hit Broadway musical Dear Evan Hansen at the Noel Coward Theatre in London on Tuesday, held on behalf of the Royal Foundation. In a note for the show's program, William said, Catherine and I are delighted to join you this evening for a special charity performance of Dear Evan Hansen at the Noel Coward Theatre. One of the issues that we care passionately about is mental health and we are pleased that Dear Evan Hansen is helping to start important conversations between parents and teenagers about this important subject. Through initiatives including Heads Together and Heads Up, the Royal Foundation is helping tackle the stigma and change the conversation around mental health, he added. We are particularly proud that Shout, a mental health support service launched by the Royal Foundation is one of four not-for-profit partners of Dear Evan Hansen providing mental health resources to audiences of the show.
The award-winning musical tells the story of a boy named Evan who struggles social anxiety and strongly wishes to connect with his peers, so much so that he fabricates a friendship with a deceased student in order to be closer to the boy's family. The topic of mental health is a key priority for William and Kate's foundation, which works to help encourage people to openly discuss their mental health as well as fight the stigma that comes along with it. The cute moment between Prince William and Kate Middleton you missed during their date night. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge enjoyed a night at the theatre on Tuesday evening. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge stepped out on Tuesday evening to attend a special viewing of the award-winning show Dear Evan Hansen at the Noel Coward Theatre in central London, which was raising money for their royal foundation. There were plenty of photographs of the pair arriving at the venue, but one picture in particular stood out capturing a sweet moment between the royal couple. In the image, William is seen putting his arm around his wife as they make their way up the steps of the theater. The Duke and Duchess don't tend to show public displays of affection, making it all the more special. It's been a busy week for the Cambridges, who have been carrying out a number of public engagements, much to the delight of royal fans. Following on from their theater trip on Tuesday, they undertook separate work duties on Wednesday. Kate started off her day at a Sports Aid event at the London Stadium, where she impressed onlookers with her athletic abilities by sprinting off the starting blocks. The Royal was joined by Olympic star Jessica Ennis Hill, and was dressed in athleisure wear, including a pair of trainers from Marks and Spencer. Following on from her sporty morning, the mother of three held an early years meeting in the afternoon at Kensington Palace. William, meanwhile, paid a visit on Wednesday to the Beacon Project in Mansfield. The 37-year-old met service users at the center, which gives support to the homeless and vulnerable. While there, the royal vowed to help a rough sleeper after hearing that his friend accidentally lost his false leg. The Cambridges returned to London at the beginning of the week for the new school term, having spent half-term in their beloved country home, Anmer Hall, in Norfolk. While visiting Wales for a Six Nations rugby match on Saturday, William revealed that the children and Kate had spent the week lambing in Norfolk. Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis had a great time, with William telling a primary school teacher during an event before the match, We've been lambing with the children this week. Charlotte wasn't sure at first but George was straight in there. Louis loves the tractors. They love seeing the lambs and feeding the lambs. Royal fans can expect to see a lot more of the Cambridges in the next week, as they will be in Ireland from Tuesday 3 to Thursday 5th of March for a three-day tour of the country. The couple will spend time in Dublin, County Meath, County Kildare and Galway during their trip, with a program that will take in Ireland's rich culture, its impactful community and spectacular scenery. The statement from Kensington Palace adds, following Her Majesty the Queen's historic visit in 2011, the visit will also focus on the relationship between the two countries and build on the theme of remembrance and reconciliation.